So let's take a look at some higher order non-homogeneous differential equations. This is section 4-3. And we're going to use the same methodology that we used when we were talking about second order linear non-homogeneous differential equations with constant coefficients. So the idea, first solve the associated homogeneous differential equation, and that gives us something which we'll call y sub h. And then secondly, find a particular solution. We're going to use the method of undetermined coefficients again. to get y sub p. So we get just one y sub p, and of course y sub h has parameters in it. And then uh, y sub, so y of t will be y sub h of t plus y sub p of t. Now we saw last time, if we have an nth degree linear homogeneous differential equation with constant coefficients, its uh, general set of solutions is going to be parameterized by n parameters. So we'll have something parameterized by n parameters here. We will add on the particular solution. So let's take a look at a couple problems. First, I want to solve the following differential equation. Y triple prime minus 6y double prime plus 12y prime minus 8y equals, so we would have done this last time if this was equal 0, I would like it to equal e to the t. So this is a non-homogeneous uh, third order linear differential equation with constant coefficients. So step number one, we'll solve the homogeneous version. So y triple prime minus 6y double prime plus 12y prime minus 8y equals 0. We know exactly how to do that. We're going to write the characteristic polynomial, so r cubed minus 6r squared plus 12r minus 8 equals 0. Now we have to try to factor that thing. You can try to factor it by hand. You can feel free to use some sort of uh, computer algebra system. So if we plug in 2, we get 2 cubed, which is 8 minus 6 times 2 squared, that's 8 minus 24, plus 12 times uh, 2, which is plus 24 minus 8, that all cancels out and gives you 0. So we know that r minus 2 is a factor. We know that 2 is a root. And if you divide out, you will end up with r squared, uh, let's see, plus 4r minus 4 
sorry, wrong way around, r squared minus 4r plus 4. And this, of course, is a perfect square also. So we can further factor that r minus 2, and this factors as r minus 2, r minus 2. So this is just r minus 2 cubed. So we have r equals 2 as a root, and it has uh, degree 3. It happens three times, or order three. You can see r minus 2, r minus 2, r minus 2. So we know right away the solution to this, oops, sorry, to the homogeneous differential equation. We know that y sub h is going to be, y sub h of t is going to be some number, which I can call a um, e to the 2t, this 2 is that 2, plus some other number, you can call it a2 if you want, I'm just going to call it b right now, times t e to the 2t, plus some other number, which I'll just call c right now, t squared e to the 2t. We saw what happened last time when we had a repeated root. Now it's time to go ahead and take a look at the particular solution to this. So for y sub p of t, we consult that chart that's both in your textbook and also uh, at the beginning of, also in the uh, lecture notes um, from last Wednesday's lecture, the first video lecture that I gave, I gave you a bunch of notes, including a table. And so we can see that, oops, this g of t, which is e to the t, is basically just 1 times e to the t. So it's an exponential times a polynomial of degree 0. So you know the form that your, if you look at the table, you know the form that the y sub p um, has is, we're going to have a polynomial of degree 0. So that's just going to be a constant. So I'll just call that c. and there's my e to the t, and then I have a t to the s out front. If we look at the table, you'll see t to the s times a constant times e to the t. Again, we just got that from the table that I put in the lecture notes and is also in your textbook. So we're using the method of undetermined co coefficients, the same method we used with quadratics last time with uh, second degree uh, linear non homogeneous uh, non-homogeneous differential equations. And you recall that the point of the s is we want the smallest non-negative integer s so that this is not a solution to the homogeneous version. So y sub p of t is not a solution to the homogeneous differential equation. Well, let's just take a look at this. If s equals 0, that's the smallest possible non-negative integer number, then g of t has the form, we just have t to the 0, that's just 1, c e to the t. And this is not any one of these terms. And so s equals 0 is going to work. It's not like this is already a solution to the homogeneous differential equation because the solutions to the homogeneous differential equation are all linear combinations of this and this and this. And this isn't one of them. So we can just choose s equals 0. Uh, oops, not g of t, y p of t. y p of t equals c e to the t. 
we can choose s equals zero and we have this now what we're going to do is plug this back into the original differential equation before we do that we need some derivatives so y sub p prime of t taking the derivative of that's easy c e to the t y sub p double prime of t equals c e to the t y sub p triple prime of t equals c e to the t derivative of e to the t is just e to the t so taking those derivatives is easy let's go ahead and plug that in to the original differential equation so y triple prime is c e to the t minus 6 times y double prime minus 6 times c e to the t plus 12 times y prime c e to the t minus 8 times uh, y which is c e to the t and it's supposed to equal e to the t now if we go ahead and collect up uh, terms on this side we have let's see 1 minus 6 is negative 5 plus 12 is uh, 7 minus 8 is negative 1 so I'm getting negative c e to the t Did we do that right so we have 1 minus 6 is negative 7 is negative 5 plus 12 is 7 minus 8 is negative uh, 1 so minus c e to the t equals e to the t and so if we divide both sides by e to the t we end up with minus c equals 1 or c equals negative 1 so we did that correctly our y sub p of t is going to be negative 1 e to the t or just negative e to the t now we have our y sub p we already have our y sub h so our general solution is going to be y of t equals a times e to the 2t plus b times t e to the 2t plus c times t squared e to the 2t minus e to the t everything has a parameter in front of it except for our particular solution and of course as usual if I gave you some initial conditions, if I gave you an initial value problem, you would be able to solve for A and B and C.